Zambia is among the 15 fastest growing economies of the world. But despite impressive economic growth, the country has failed to reduce poverty and is still amongst the poorest nations globally. And while only 5% of Zambia's insurable public are covered, it provides opportunities to improve the well-being of its people. The life industry in Zambia is fairly, uh, it's a growing industry. I think in terms of penetration, the whole insurance penetration is about 5%. And that's general and life. But when you look at life, I think we must be seated at 1% to 2% in terms of penetration. And um, uh, generally, the public doesn't understand insurance. The, there's lack of awareness. There's lack of education. So it's a very new area for most people. And even for life companies, it's now that we've seen that a number have uh, come up as well. I think currently we're about eight companies in Zambia, and uh, half of those are of foreign origin. Uh, we are a local company, and um, such that there's a, the, the potential is vast. It's just the issue of um, getting to know uh, how to uh, understand the business, and then how do you take the products to the clients, and a lot of education, and uh, them appreciating insurance. To address their challenges, Madison Life partnered with a human capital development organization called African Management Services Company, AMSCO, to help them achieve their objectives. The ATMS project, uh, AMSCO, got involved with Madison Life uh, a couple of years ago with the secondment of two senior experts uh, in the capacity of um, general manager technical and general manager marketing. Uh, the support to the company was meant to help with the turnaround of the business, uh, position it for profitability, and support the capacity building of staff. Um, life insurance is a relatively new business in Zambia, and with that comes scarcity of skill in-house. Our support was therefore timely to help the business move to another level, uh, and over a couple of years, the managers have been on the ground. A lot has happened within the company, uh, the business is a model project of AMSCO, which has embraced capacity building. Over 250 staff have been trained in different areas, and we believe that um, the company is on the right path to achieve its objectives. Behind the expertise, we funded part of the cost involved, and we also put in some money for capacity building, uh, which the company matches on a 50-50 cost share basis. In addition to the interim management support provided to Madison Life, AMSCO has also provided them with funding support through the ATMS Foundation. The foundation provides grant funding for qualifying clients that are assisted by AMSCO. I find them to be uh, very helpful in that you could consult them in any area and they'll be able to give the necessary advice. So they, they've really helped us. The future is very bright, uh, I must say. We, we, we've, we have a culture now of wanting to excel and wanting to go back to leadership. For me, I want to get back into, uh, M, to get M Life back into leadership in terms of market share, in terms of profitability and innovation and service. And these are the areas that we're focusing on and making sure that staff understand and um, uh, develop skills to help us achieve those goals. And also the issue of uh, introduction of various products on the market, which are meeting different needs of our customers, which means that we are also growing as an organization. I must say that we, we've done very well. We are now a solid company. I think after the changes that we had, we had issues of um, um, uh, solvency was at risk, issues of um, uh, customer confidence, you know, when you pull out a product that people had a lot of confidence in and was doing very well, they were like shaking. And we just had the challenges of staff, skills, and management of the business. But I must say that we are on course and we're doing very well in those areas such that the future is very bright. AMSCO implements the African Training and Management Services project of the UNDP with International Finance Corporation as the executing agency and the African Development Bank as the cooperating agency.